Hi, coaches. Welcome back to Big Drew the World. I know it's been a while, guys. I had some technical issues with my laptop I had to get fixed. Um, got all that squared away. I've been doing the dad thing, been doing the online teacher thing. I'm doing the get back from cold practices. We're getting ready for a spring season thing now. And I'm here to present you three drills you need for your everyday drills or your EDD stuff. <coughs> Excuse me there, coaches. Um, first things first, I want to say, hey, man, 150 plus subscribers. I think we're at 187 right now. Our last video on being a good assistant coach just blew up. Um, last video on different stuff for helping out with your indie drills. So that's why I think, you know, having everyday drills and going with that is a great thing. So I am, we got 150 plus subscribers. I suggest that you go, I've gotten some new people onto the Facebook group, Big Rule the World, over on Facebook. If you go under football underscore Allen and Twitter, it's all linked in below you can go in check us out um i'm also going to link in a google form if you want to be part of a weekly big rule the world newsletter okay sometimes it's a little hard for me to get the videos out it's not hard for me to get the newsletter out the newsletter is going to have different stuff each week whether a drill each week a tip each week something for you something easy in your inbox that comes out each week um that's coming from me to you and we're going to do it that way. Now, you can sign up for pre paid premium content and stuff like that. Our guys, you can just get the free newsletter, keep getting the free videos, whatever, okay? Well, we're giving you top-notch content either way. Just, you know, the premium stuff, um, it talk, it'll talk about that in the first newsletter. That's going to be some higher-end stuff and some stuff that, you know, if you're interested in, I can help you out with with your team and your offensive line. But enough of that. Let's get to the show. All right. First things to consider, we're talking about everyday drills now. First things to consider, what are your non-negotiables? Okay. I suggest to all assistant coaches that they define like three key tenets of the what their group needs to do. And I suggest that for all guys, not just offensive line coaches. You know, so some of the focuses I have for my offensive linemen is our first step, being violent and aggressive with our hands and being able to be able to be smart and communicate what we're doing, being the best communicators on the field is the way I call it. Um, what are your top plays? What do you do that – if you're going to have a bread and butter play, okay, and I suggest if you're an offensive coordinator out there, guys, um, it doesn't have to be a particular one play. What's your family of plays, okay? If I run G scheme, okay, and I can't decide between what's my best play, G with my tailback, G with my quarterback – is it the same blocking? G is your best play then if you're going through the same things. If you run everything off of inside zone, whether it's split zone, lead zone, whatever, okay, then inside zone is your best play. So focus on your top play. You know, you want to build your anytime, build your everyday drills around stuff that focuses and helps that. And what are your top needs as focused? Okay, if you're not a zone team, obviously you're not working on zone path footwork. If you're a wing T team, you obviously need to spend more time on on blocking down and pulling, okay, and just shoulder blocking, teaching the steps of that. So figure out what your focuses are before you get into that all this building your everyday drill stuff. So those are the sort of your first things to consider there. Now, here's three key drills that I use every day that I love. I think you should. This is one I love every single day, no matter – what group I'm with, um, it works on posture. We call it the po demeanor walk, okay? At different schools, I've called it the mean walk, okay? We're going to start at this cone down here at the bottom right, and we're going to demeanor walk, or we're going to step, all right? We've got a little lineman shimmy, a little lineman walk up here five yards. And what I mean by the lineman walk is we have our feet just outside our shoulders. We're pushing off the weight of the inside of our toes, I have my butt down, my chest is up, perfect posture, okay, and we're stomping out, boom, boom, I'm firing out with my right foot, and we're firing out for five yards, boom, 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 and I'm walking, my chest is back, my butt's down, it's a good walk, and I'm putting that weight on the inside of my legs where I can really feel it. I'm going to get to this first cone right here, 
and then I'm going to work on my kick slide to the left. So I'm setting up right foot, post foot, left foot, kick foot, boom, 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 boom. All right, then I'm firing out with my left foot and boom, 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 boom. Demeter walking, same thing we started out with to the third cone, to the fourth cone right here. And then we're kick sliding to the right, boom, boom, boom. Then finishing with our demeanor walk up right there. Now, I love this because it's multiple skills being taught. You're working on kick sliding right away. You're working on that demeanor. You're working on your hips. You're working on everything. Um, but you can adapt to it, guys, if you want to throw in a pull at the top of this. Throw in a pull at the top of this. If you're a zone team, I set it up today. If we were going to do um, zone step to the right, zone step to the left when we got up here. Okay, you can do stuff just like that. If you don't want to do this straight ahead, I call it a power step. And we'll probably adapt ours and throw in a little bit more stuff. That's just different, okay? Um, if you want to do a dip and rip and get get to the inside, sort of a veer block, sort of a dip and rip so we can leave a guy to get kicked out if you're talking wing T type stuff, you can add that up here. We used to do this when I was in college at Washington Lee, and we would dip and rip off the goalpost. And actually, I think the demeanor walk, I'm going to do a video later on when I can get a camera out to practice and do a video just on the demeanor walk drill. That'll probably be one of those premium content things. I think it's the best drill I can give y'all as far as an everyday drill type of thing. So, I mean, I call it the, the best drill. Start every day with it. Demeanor walk. This is my second best drill. Step slash board progression. We start out stance and start every single day. All right. We've eased now now where I don't focus as much on the stance. We're focusing on the start. So I'm teaching them that first power step. And I call it a power step because we're just basic, okay? We're stepping right foot or we're stepping left foot. And I'm working at them firing out from their stance. We'll get on the boards. All right. We'll get on the boards and we're working on them firing out low and hard. For first six inch step, boom, with their right foot. Boom, with their left foot. You know, we've worked on that firing out. We'll do one step and then we'll go with the board, okay? Sometimes I'm working that first step three times before we finally hit the boards and run it, okay? Today we did one, we've got a little bit more advanced. We did one hard step, boom, right foot, okay, reset. Now I'm going through the snap count again, boom, 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 snap the ball. Now I fire out with my right foot and I'm chopping across that board. All right, and that board keeps your feet wide. What's the cool thing about this board? When I do right foot, then I can do left foot. Then I take the board, I angle it at a 45 degree angle and I work on our zone step. Boom, same progression. We're gonna take a step and we're gonna come back. Then we're gonna go through the snap count. Then we're gonna go down the board, down the board. Right zone step right there. Then we're gonna flip do left zone step. This is great, guys. I've done this drill with pulling. We can flip, you know, instead of facing me facing you, I can turn face this way. Now I'm doing a flat pull down the board, stuff like that. Um, I enjoy it, guys. It's a great drill, and you can progress. We progress and add bags to it now. So after we've done the step, 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 now we're putting a guy on the bag, and the first step now is striking. And then the second step, we're rolling and we're rolling our hips with them and going there. And you just work your way up, guys. Some of these everyday drills, it's a progression. I think we're going to get to the point where our board progression is going to start with the bags, and that'll be good. But we progressed through that through the last two months of what we call fall ball, spring ball, whatever you want to call it. And then my third drill, double team combo drill. Are you a zone team? Cool. If you're a zone team, you got these two on these two in a stack formation. All right, maybe not per se. This is more like a 3-3 stack if I'm talking guard tackle. But we'll pair our guys up in tackle tight ends, guard centers, different combos. Today I was throwing them out there just because the number of linemen I had. Anybody. So if we're working inside zone right, boom. This tackle's got to know he's stepping with his right foot. He's going for whoever comes here. This guard's got to know he's coming for whoever comes here. If this defensive lineman sits, they force him back and make the linebacker make a decision. Linebacker goes this way, tackle gets him. Linebacker goes that way, guard gets him. Easy enough. You can also compare it with a down block. If you're a G team, if you're a team that likes to kick out ends, run power, okay? 
Then we want four hands on him. Boom, we're driving this defensive tackle back. Four eyes on the linebacker. Who's going to come off? Guard has the guy to the left, tackle has the guy to the right. Those are just three easy drills that I think you can throw into your everyday drills very easily and incorporate them. And as you teach them, guys, you know, they're going to get easier. I told you you can progress. I'm going up that board drill a bit now where we're going to be using bags the full time, stuff like that. Remember, use your time wisely, plan your time out, and be a good assistant, guys. You know, be an artist when it comes to this type of stuff. Um, coaches, until next time, hey, hit that newsletter link. Hit the subscribe link. We're up to 187 subscribers. Let's get to 200, okay? We're trying to push it, get to 200. Uh, that would be big on uh, this channel. Um, I think my original goal was I want to get to 1,000 eventually, and to get to 1,000, you got to get to 200 first. I appreciate all you out there who are subscribing, sharing this. Keep doing it. Um, we're coming at you next time. We're going into a series on how to teach the pool. And I think you all, offensive line coaches, you know, this type of stuff is exciting. This type of stuff is good. This type of detail stuff, it can be boring sometimes for newer coaches, but I'm telling you, when you focus in on these details, that's when your offensive line is going to get great. Hey, guys, remember, we want to score big points. We want to win ball games. If you want to win big on the scoreboard, you got to win in the trenches. And to do that, you got to know that bigs rule the world. I'll see you next time, coaches.